Uh, we listen to the grievances of the people of Garsei Koftu. And what came out clearly is that what is happening is one-sided cattle rustling. This kind of cattle rustling is aimed at stealing the livestock of these people who are already, who are already suffering as, the, as a result of the prevailing drought. We are aware that the animals are sold in a black market. Let me repeat this. We are aware that their livestock are sold in a black market in Isiolo. We want to call upon the national government to make sure that people actually take to the market what strictly belongs to them. In this time of death and suffering, no one can endure the loss of life as well as livestock. That is a double tragedy. We are not looking forward to a situation whereby people are armed so as to take care of themselves and their livestock. It is time the national government takes responsibility and takes care of what belongs to these people. Leo tumekuja kuletea nyinyi salamu za rambi rambi ile mumepoteza watu yetu wale walipotea wale uliwa na majangili hapa. Na hiyo hatuwezi kukubali kabisa kama serikali ya Kenya iko na katiba na iko na sheria na kila mtu anatosha kuishi katika hii Kenya mahali popote anataka ile maneno tunasikia viongozi wengine katika kaunti jirani wanaongea ni mbaya sana na hatutaki matamishi kama hiyo serikali inatosha kuchukua hatua kutoka watu kama hawa kwa sababu wale wanatoka hapa ni wa Kenya wameenda kutafuta malisho na wameenda kutafuta maji kwa sababu ukame imeletwa na Mwenyezi Mungu kila mahali ile kitu naambia waziri wa amani Fred Matiangi serikali iko na jukumu ya kulinda wananchi wake kila mahali wako iwe ni Kenya gani wako na hiyo jukumu ya kulinda sisi tunataka yaliyotendeka imetendeka maisha hatuwezi kurudisha lakini ile mifugo imepotea wewe waziri matiangi na askari yako wote wale wako upande ile ingine ya huko Isiolo County na ile intelligence wote wanajua ngamia mahali ziko enda tafuta na ulete na urudisho hiyo ngamia kwa wenyewe kwa sababu hiyo watoto waliachwa mayatima hiyo ndio ile kitu imebaki kwa tu let me take this opportunity first and foremost to send my condolences to the families, friends and relatives of those people of Gerseroft and Wajia people as a whole who lost their lives through uh, banditry and lawlessness caused by the people who are our neighbors. It's very unfortunate that uh, this recurring incident has claimed the lives of so many people. I would like the security headed by the minister, CS Mr. Matiangi, to take his role very seriously. He is supposed to provide security. He is supposed to provide security not only for the people of uh, Kenya, but for their property. Because uh, Kenyans are supposed to get uh, security, both their lives and their property. That is uh, uh, enshrined in the Constitution of Kenya. We would like the minister to take immediate action uh, to arrest the situation. Otherwise, if that is not done, then there will be uh, law lawlessness all over. And we do not want to take our people, uh, for them to take uh, the law into their hands. It is very unfortunate. So we would like the, the minister to take immediate action. As county government, we will do our best to provide food, water, and other services uh, to the people who are affected. Not only the people who are affected, but also the whole county. This time, I know there is a very severe drought. Where people have, uh, have no food. 
water is uh, scarce, we would like to uh, assure Kenyans, and in particular the people of Wajia, that the county government will do its best to ensure that uh, food and water is available to everybody. Uh, finally, I will request uh, the, the people in Garsey Goft not to take the law into their hands. Let them uh, be peaceful. We will solve the, this uh, uh, security problem with our neighbors. Uh, please be patient and wait uh, from uh, the government.